Hello, everybody, and welcome to Secret Amount of Randomizer Weekly Seed number 134. We have an asynchronous seed today uh, between Heinz Hearts and SoBZ, SBZ. Um, yeah, we're about to get this started. We are starting with the boy. Let me go ahead and mark that on both of these trackers. And also see that we are starting with the Flammy Drum. Let me mark that as well. And while this uh, intro sequence is playing out, let's see what the settings are. We are doing a Mana Tree Revival. Minimum six seeds. Could be six, seven, or eight. Uh, the boy, girl, and sprite characters, the uh, roles, are all uh, swapped up. So, uh, but they are unique. So one boy, one girl, one sprite. But we don't know which is which. Um, we do not have hints. Experience is... Uh, times one instead of double. We have high chest drop frequency. We are starting with the javelin. And the boy is in fact the sprite. So the boy is the sprite. And we're taken to the skies with our uh, going through and getting our, all of our freebies. Um, chest drop frequency is at the highest setting. And hints are disabled. They're both going to go up and back down into Poto's village to get this. Well, not the first hint. Hints are disabled. Um, let's see if they remembered that setting Oh, maybe not. <laughs> SPZ falls for the trap. Lumina magic. Okay. Does not help with our, our sprite boy right now. And Heinz uh, is, yeah, is leaving. He's not going to check any uh, hints. Because there are no hints. Not going to read the signs. Who cares? And SPZ is following suit. And we'll see where they are going. Uh, upper land for Heinz. And SPZ will probably be doing the same. Yes. pushing through some of these. So we got swap bosses, and it also looks like swapped enemies. And we have, oh, well, there's the girl right out the gate. So I'll go ahead and mark that for both of them. The girl is the boy, and you get a whip orb, and the girl has a bow. All right, two characters already there, and two weapons. Nothing that is useful. Um, because this is a uh, Mana Tree Revival, of course, we are uh, looking to get to the Pure Lands. Uh, so in order to do that, you need at least a cutting weapon of some sort. Um, they're both going to Matango right now to get the the freebie here. I don't think they started with any gold either, if we're about to find out. No, no gold. Okay, so let's see what's in Matango here. A glove orb. I'll go ahead and mark that for the other tracker as well. Yep. Wrong buttons. <laughs> Real good at this. Okay. And Heinz is out of here. SBZ getting the glove orb as well and is going to be taken to the skies. So, uh, no hints. So, just kind of like winging it, trying to get the um, at least six seeds and get to the end of Pure Lands. Heinz landing in. South Town to talk to Mara and get some cash. Nice. That's real nice. SBZ is electing to instead go and fight the Dark Stalker at Tasnica. So, has the girl. They both have the girl, but not actually the girl surrogate character. <laughs> so, Lumina is not helpful right now. Hines, um, now doing the freebies first at North Town Ruins. And SBZ is just now getting to the throne room. Ooh, stone weapon to start with. Nice. And remember, highest uh, drops. Oh, wow, two stone weapons. Very nice. Going to go ahead and pick up that. And it's poison. Ah, poison. But gets undine magic. Very nice. And no, no hit from the king. So leaving Heinz is picking up a bow orb. I don't know how uh, advantageous that would be since both weapons are... Uh, stone weapons right now to go ahead and level that up. But Undine at, you know, basically for free is real nice to go ahead and have that. <laughs> Vanilla sea hair! Yay! <laughs> That's fun. Okay. <laughs> and Heinz is going now to the right side. North Town Ruin Balcony to get the other thing, the other drop. SBZ going to go ahead and land and turn that in. Why not? You're on that side of the world. And it's an Axe Orb. All right. Well, we got an orb for a weapon that we need or we would like. 
But we don't have anything yet. Um, some kind of mid mid game items there. Uh, oh, SVZ was about to to peace out, but remember that they had the sea hair tail spirit orb. Okay, so fetch quest completed, and Heinz is gonna dive, dive, dive to the back rooms. <laughs> oh, back to that third chest through the they. I'm trying to remember if they're shell blasts. Yeah. I don't remember. I think the shell blasts are the purple ones that you fight. The turtles that you fight in um Ice Country. Oh, but we have green turtles too. We got turtles galore. SBZ is gonna get uh the allowance <laughs> allowance for Mara. And Heinz, I think, stopped a door early. No, did not. I'm watching two screens, so I'm trying to see <laughs> who's going where. <laughs> How far in each person is right now. So Heinz is now getting back close to the switch area and is getting stopped by some metal crawlers. Yuck. SPZ is going to check this shop. I'll actually pay attention this time. What is in the shop? Because now you now I actually have gold. Uh, power wrist. Power wrist. Buy it. Why no power wrist? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> power wrist is like like, until you get to, like, late level stuff and maybe need to upgrade your accessories just to get a little bit more armor, like, the power wrist is the only thing you really need because it fills out the accessory slot and it gives you extra strength. And since you have an actual, like, boy character right now... Oh, Heinz hit the button and is forgetting to go to the chest? No, it's just setting, just hitting all the buttons. Just going ahead and hitting all the buttons. And it is an axe orb. Okay, not useful. And it's piecing out, not continuing. SBZ picking up the water seed and what's the other freebie? Sylphid magic. Okay, so we've got Undine and Sylphid for the boy sprite to cast right now. That's awesome. And one seed down. So you can start leveling those up. So that's looking real good for SBZ right now. Heinz is, of course, going to be following suit and picking up Sylphid and the water seed. Since he's also in North Town. Oh! <laughs> Dodging through those, uh... Don't want to get uh, frosty by those uh, ice drops. Boomerang Orb. Okay. In the basement. Um, and of course, with... Uh, Undine being at... Tasnica, that is something that Heinz will eventually get to. I mean, the, you know... Unless that's something that you just get that falls out of your head, that you just, like, forget to do, that's something that you do pretty early on. And now SBZ has their turn to go to the North Town Ruins while Heinz is shopping. That boy is... Heinz, Heinz's boy is looking rough. A, a whole chocolate! Wow, how generous. Spend it, spending that cash money to keep that boy alive. Alright, we're about to see the two runners pick up uh, each other's items now and get kind of even here. SVZ picking up the first one, the Axe Orb. And then Heinz is about to pick up, uh, it was Sylphid and a Water Seed. I'll go ahead and mark that for his side. Oh. And, oh, are these going to be good chests? 50 gold. Nice. And, <gasps> a bomb. Not so nice. Dang. <laughs> Bow Orb for SBZ on that other side, and went back in. Hmm. Dive? Dive. SBZ is also going to dive and be sad, and Heinz is getting roughed up by these blue drops. And, I, I, you know, since the, the enemies are swapped, blue drops in that room, guess what? Blue drops in this next room. Gonna free the prisoners! Gonna free the rebellion! What a bro. Uh-oh. Boy down. Quick, fast heal. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. 30 gold well spent. And a boomerang orb. And Heinz is out of here. SBZ is still trudging along to the third chest in the back area of Northtown Ruins. Heinz is taking the sky, and where is he going to go? Where, oh, where? Ice Country? Okay. Right next door, just slightly north of Northtown, the Norther Town. North, northeast town. No hit from Rudolph. Oh, <laughs> faked. Juked. Was gonna, was gonna do it. A boomerang orb. Ah, boo. 
Oh man, boy goes down on SPZ side. Just having a rough a rough time of it over there. You gotta make it past the um, metal crawler. Oh, never run. No metal crawler. Heinz landing at the the lighthouse to get the freebie at the top. All the way to the tippy top. SVZ picks up that axe orb and is jetting out of here. Moving on probably to Ice Country as well. Probably following right behind Heinz. Moonseed. Nice. Free seed. And that's a seed that you could potentially turn in right now. Depending on what orb is, is blocking entrance to the Moon Palace. Boomerang orb from Santa's house for SBZ. And probably then we'll be following up to get the... The Moon Seed from Picard. Heinz now doing what SBZ did earlier. Stopping in and is going to pick up Undine for himself at... Um, Tasnica, the Dark Stalker. SBZ doing what Heinz did not, which is going to get the freebie from Ice Palace. Let's see if this is fortuitous. Just run around, just the, just the girl, just the girl boy running around the, oh, and getting punched. The, the boy sprite, don't, don't need him. Gonna swap weapons with a ghost, feeling a lot safer with the javelin in her hands. <laughs> And there's Undine magic for Heinz. <clears throat> Gonna check the shop. Oh, about to talk to the king. I, man, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> and is leaving. SPZ is picking up a light seed. Up. So that is something that was skipped by Heinz. Should eventually go back to that, I think. Just to even like get that freebie. Heinz was picking up the vanilla... Um... Uh, see her tail from this guy. And SBZ is landing at the lighthouse. I'm going to go ahead and mark their moon seed. But da 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 dun 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 Spectre of Manas music playing us through this whole process. Awesome. Awesome rendition of all of the music from the game. There's the moon seed. And then Heinz is turning in the see her tail for Spear Orb. Not very helpful. For now, I don't know. Maybe the spear is in their near future. SPZ is going back to Potos? Yes. Ah, to sleep. Pay five, five, five cheap. Five small bucks. There it is. Heinz has doubled back to the Ice Palace and is going to be picking up the Light Seed. SPZ is going to spend five bucks in Potos to revive the boy. I'm going to go ahead and mark the light seed on Heinz's side. And unless something goes catastrophically wrong, I'm going to assume that he has that. SBZ is going to start leveling things up. Three seeds. Why not? Go ahead and start leveling, you know. Kill one enemy by chaining some stuff together. And while, kind of while you're in this area, why not spend a, a small amount of money to level things up? In fact, leave before the, the book gets destroyed and you get the benefit of leveling up, you know, spending the, the mana to level up the spells without the enemy actually dying on screen and therefore not incurring any experience. Although we are playing on single experience right now, so the characters will be leveling up slower, which means bosses will level up slower because we are doing um, the, the the mode that enemies match the player level, um, which is good. You can go ahead and like grind out some extra cash and everything like that, but for magic users, not so great because you're getting slower uh, mana pool growth 300 gold from Watts. Heinz is now down in the dwarf village in the bowels of Guy's Navel. SBZ getting Undine up to level 2 is going to have a real quick work for some of these bosses, but it's, I mean, that's time. More gold. Wow. So, 1,000 gold just like sitting there. So, it's one of those things like, yeah, it'll speed up boss fights at the beginning, but eventually, you know. You know, this is, this is time that could have been spent going and picking other things up and you can level things up like i mean you're you're at level one right now so, and so are the bosses and the bosses will be low level for a long point in this game so i don't i just don't know how helpful this actually is going to be though you know maybe maybe you know what do i know that they'll stroll into boss fights for you know <laughs> the first like eight bosses and just not have a problem with it and heinz may struggle because he'll, he'll be starting off with level zero 
Spell damage. But Heinz is about to clear out everything. Uh, so, uh, all of the freebies in Guy's Navel. Uh, I guess, no, the bottom one was a bow orb. <coughs> if I recall correctly. Um, the one in the sunken ship. But, otherwise, 1600 gold. Not too shabby. No boss fights. Where's Heinz going? Back to North Town. Okay. Shopping? Does he remember that there's some good stuff here now that he has 1600 extra gold? Yes. He's going to shop. I think this is where the power wrist was. And maybe a chest guard? And SPZ is going to be landing... Yeah, chest guard. Uh, at the water palace area. And can do Undine Cave as well as the turning in the water seed. Since we're doing restrictive logic. Both of these uh, checks will give two checks as well as a, a weapon orb. Let's see what we've got. Blue spike. A is unconscious. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's okay. Got got some damage off. Decent damage. Wow. Yeah. Already like two-thirds at least of... I think that's what it is. Is, is two-thirds the way through the fight. The the tiger's head explodes. Gonna go... Gonna spend... up oh, and, and tiger down. Didn't even need to spend the, the medical herb. Herb. I started using that H. The hard... The hard H? Yeah, I, I use it. <laughs> Herb. What of it? All right. And that's the Jabberwocky fight. Heinz is landing at uh, Pandora. To fight Wallface. Let's see what these checks are. 800 gold and... up oh, a seed! A seed for a seed! Nice. Four seeds of the... At least six already found. Um, so here's the, the the divergence. I think SPZ is going here, knowing that the, you know it's it's just level one, um, like standard experience gain. It's not double experience gain. Um, like all these seeds are a lot of times used. Oh man, what a <laughs> fire guy! Guess you're in the wrong cave. You came to the wrong neighborhood. You gotta. So yeah, okay, kind of nice that SPZ leveled up the. The, the magic a little bit. Okay, all right. Okay. Got an egg on my face. Um, but I think going ahead and, and spending, like, turning in the water seed, like, doing this stuff, these two boss fights back-to-back, -back, that's four checks. And, you know, the characters and the enemies are not going to gain too many levels off of that, as opposed to doing the standard opening, which is doing wall face as soon as possible to get the Pandora treasure room open. Javelin orb, an orb for a weapon you actually have, Nice. Heinz, level zero weapons fighting a snow dragon. Oh, another seed? Oh my god. All right, well, SPZ is on the warpath right now. Uh, Heinz does not have fire magic, does not have high level magic at all, but this is the first boss. Everything's still level one right now. The girl also has one health. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So SPZ has just bumbled into two extra seeds, getting the turning in the water seed for the fire seed, and then going right next door to blow up a fire gigas to get the earth seed but still no cutting weapons yet still ca like even if you wind up with six seven eight seeds they still need either a sword or an axe to get to the the end Heinz has uh the girl drop but Silphid is now level one in the middle of his boss fight and that's the dragon dragon down SVZ did some shopping over on their side at Ice Country. Found a tiara for the boy. That's hey, that's good defense. Especially with stuff leveling up a lot slower. It's really good. That's some really good defense right there. That's gonna take you a long way. Um, okay, gaining a couple levels on Heinz's side, picking up an axe orb and a sword orb. Dang! Orbs, not the weapons! You got orbs for the weapons that you need, just not the weapons themselves. SPZ is now landing at Guy's Naval to pick up some freebies and potentially fight some bosses that Heinz did not his first trip there. Uh, is Heinz going to check the second shop, the armor shop? No. Don't care. SVZ is going to pick up some, some cash from Watt and the Elder. While Heinz hoofs it through Pandora Castle to talk to the girl and go to the treasure room. SVZ is checking the shop here. 
What do we got? Some good stuff. A javelin orb for Heinz from the girl. Um, spiky suit. And, uh, ooh, a raccoon cap. Nice. It's uh, decent stuff here. All right, time to mark all of this. Oh, it's the sprite! The sprite who is the girl. Nice. <clears throat> and ho maybe, hopefully, all right, one out of three chance that they have a, a cutting weapon. What do we got? It's the axe! All right. Okay. Whew. Okay. SVZ will get to that eventually as well. Javelin orb. I didn't see what the other thing was. A javelin orb. A dark seed. There's a six seed. And the spear itself. Okay. So I missed one check over on Heinz's side because I was, while well, doing some naming and stuff like that, I was looking over here. So hopefully it wasn't anything important. But, so all characters have been found. A cutting weapon has been found. He found a fourth seed, which will be a sixth seed for SVZ. Oh, SVZ saw what the Earth Palace uh, orb was. I did not mark that. Sorry, my bad. I'm looking back and forth. Bow orb. And is going to fight the boss. Heinz, coming here with the axe, can get the freebies here. Does not have a... Oh, picked up a whip. That was the other thing in the other chest. Perfect. Thanks for showing me that. Thanks, Heinz. Thanks for opening that up. All right, SBZ is fighting Hexus down in the pit. It's not your boy. It's, in fact, your girl. No robot. Just just a snake lady. He's having, he's having a bad day right now. So yeah, Heinz picked up the Dark Seed. <laughs> well, hold on, wait. Got the whole package. Got the Dark Palace package. I just realized it. Got the axe, got the whip, and got the Dark Seed. All in Pandora um, uh, treasure room. That's funny. That's some good stuff. And everybody's still low levels. I think that uh, everybody's still like level like three right now. SVZ going up a couple levels. Glove Orb and a Whip Orb. Okay. And I didn't check. I didn't see what that was over there. I'm looking back and forth. Sorry that I missed Heinz's side. And the Jabberwocky is being fought now at Tropicalo. And is <laughs> SBZ is going to make quick work. Heinz not setting everything up at Dark Palace. Did not hit the extra switch to go and fight the slime. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. You have the seed. You have the whip. You have the axe. Interesting choice there. Okay. SBZ, what? What you got here? A bow orb. 100 gold and a glove orb. So not much. <coughs> Heinz now landing at the fire palace. SBZ has the earth seed and... Oh, it doesn't have the whip, so... That's why they did not elect to go into the Earth Palace proper, even if they have, you know, they may not have the, the stuff necessary. So that is, Sylphid is our first orb here in Fire Palace. SPZ is picking up, I think this is a, no, it's more money. Yeah, more money. So Heinz is going to be able to get in and get this first chest here. SPZ is taking the sky, getting out of Guy's navel. And it's a glove orb for Heinz in the first chest in Fire Palace. It's about to go check the second palace. SPZ is thinking. Dryad magic. Well, thus ends your adventure in Fire Palace. SPZ. Oh, also landing in Fire Palace. Well, doesn't doesn't have Dryad, so they're gonna pick up. A, uh, what was it, like a, a glove orb? They're going to pick up a glove orb as well, and that's it. All right, Heinz has a cutting weapon that SBZ does not. Ooh, hmm, interesting. Doesn't have the Dryad Seed. Oh, okay, but has, yeah, okay. Does have the whip, can get the freebie here if they go into the Grand Palace itself, but he can also get the freebie in the underground, um... Underground palace, or underground area, whatever you want to call it. Undersea continent. There it is. So many things under... So many subterranean area, areas in this game. Um, SBZ is going to find out that that's a Dryad Seed and bail. And Heinz is trying to hop. Hip. There it is. We'll just see if he decides to continue on. There's the sword. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so the axe... <laughs> the, the sword is locked by the axe. So the axe is... Like, uh, so Wallface is the is the solution. You have to beat Wallface. You have to in order to get a cutting weapon to get to the end of Pure Lands. 
Um, Heinz electing not to go through underground, the uh, undersea continent, and is going to get the freebie on the second floor, or third floor, whatever you want to call it, of the uh, Grand Palace. SBZ is now going to be landing and doing their run-through of Pandora uh, Ruins to fight the Snow Dragon at Wallface. Birds! Owls! Get out of there! Ah! Um, scram. And that'll give them uh, a cutting weapon, a whip, a third character, and, and a sixth seed, which will put them in potential go mode. So this is going to be really big for SBZ. Bow orb, nothing. So Heinz is m missing the fire and the earth seeds, which are at Water Palace and at Undine Cave. So they just need to decide to go and do that. Heinz just needs to get up and go. <laughs> mm, and where is Heinz going? Don't have the wind seed. Oh, he's right there. He's thinking it. He's thinking about it. No, turn back around. Heinz, no. Oh, he's turning back around again. Oh, is he going to go to LNA's first? Maybe? I don't know. He was right there. He was hovering right over it. He had made the right... There it is. Okay. Now, will he decide to go to LNA's first, or will he clear these palaces? Good. Okay. That'll give him two more two more seats. All right. <laughs> ah, panic. <laughs> You're just seeing somebody standing over what we, as the audience, know is the correct answer. <laughs> just like, ah, do it, go. Uh, fighting Blue Spike. And uh, SBZ makes very short work of the Snow Dragon at Pandora Ruins. Way to go. Axe, Orb, and Sword Orb. And we're about to have a blue spike down. There it is, blue spike down, which will give the fire seed. And then as long as he decides to go next door, that'll give the, that should give the earth seed. I think I remember that correctly. SPZ is gonna check this shop. Expansive stuff, expand, another power wrist. Should pick that up, those are nice. Silver band, also nice. And turning in the water seed to get cash, and there's the fire seed. So now, will he decide? I mean, he's he's already over here. This is kind of one of those like no-brainer things. Like you're in this area, you did one thing, you might as well do the other. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Heinz will be picking up his sixth seed about the same time SPZ will picking up be picking up their sixth seed. So, and then it's a race to the end. And is it six seeds that are needed? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe more. Oh, hey, a javelin orb. Thanks, me. And Heinz has uh, some pretty high-level magic as well, it seems. Freeze level... Well, freeze level one. Whatever. Okay. There's a javelin orb. A javelin orb. The whip. The dark seed. And the sprite with the axe. And the spear. A lot of weapons. A lot of great stuff. And Heinz has taken out the fire Gygas, so SBZ is getting out of here. Six seeds. Knows they have the axe. Yep, there it is. Sprinting all the way to the corner. I wonder if he'll make a stop off somewhere. Javelin orb for Heinz, about to pick up his sixth seed. Yep, SBZ is taking a little pit stop. There's the earth seed and a sword orb. All right, so both of the players are now in potential go mode. SPZ is taking a stopover real quick just to get some armor and some provisions before going to the Pure Lands. Just right next door, right south of the Pure Lands at Kakara. Heinz, I think we'll be doing the same. It looks like he's on a trajectory. Nope, he's skipping it. He's skipping it. He's, he's full sending into the Pure Lands. Done. Six seeds and a, and a cutting weapon. That's all. <laughs> He's like, that's all we need. Ah, but, but you first, you must fight the chair. <laughs> uh oh, maybe, maybe should have stopped for some armor. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, he's bailing. Oh no. Okay, so that's a time loss right there. If he just goes south 
to uh, Kakara and then back, which I think is what he's going to do. That's the closest sound. Yeah, he's doubling back. Uh-oh. So he, he decided, nah, too, too dangerous for me right now and bailed. Oh, no. I wonder if he had fully committed and just been like, nah, I'll just power through it. Like if it, you know, things have been a little different. Um, or, you know. So it wasn't, it wasn't just stopping and doing stuff in the same order. He, he pushed on ahead and then bailed. Oh, man. Thunder Gygus. No gnome. No gnome. But, I mean, pretty high level. I mean, six. Come on. Six seeds. You have the potential. <gasps> Ooh, a reset from SPZ. Just decides, no, I'm not going to deal with that. Oh, it's probably going to level up the... Uh... Oh, leveling up the characters, I guess, a little bit more. <laughs> Getting the characters poisoned a little bit? Um, hey, 350 gold, nice. All right, Heinz is now, yeah, that's 700 gold right there. Huh, oh, I guess just getting more. Oh, leveling up the, oh, he was out of mana. I, I was I was trying to figure out like, what was the choice there? Out of mana, um, and now Heinz is back in pure lands and sprinting through. Yeah, that's what it was. It was killing some enemies to, to get mana back. Wow. All right, a couple, a couple little trips getting into the pure land, getting into the, the rhythm of it. Some good damage over there from SPZ, and Heinz will be following suit. Though, does not have... I don't know if they've leveled up any weapons. I guess they still have their level zero, like, thunder, or no, um, petrify, like, gnome weapons. So, mm. All right, SPZ's first boss is down. Five to go. Heinz is dishing out some damage right now just chaining together um some freeze spells whip orb and sword orb so you know five more bosses along the way could be the possibility that one of these bosses has yet another seed on them so you get to the end it could be six or seven seeds and then it's just like well you win that's it <laughs> hind takes out they're Thunder Gygus. Are you gonna check that? It could be it's gonna be money. Huh. French vanilla. This is the wrong dragon. <laughs> this dragon belongs a little bit further back. <laughs> and once again, another another uh wind boss. Back-to-back -back, uh, Sylphid bosses and no gnome. But, I mean, whatever. Level 3, level 4 um, freeze is, is plenty. Is plenty to deal with them. And both bosses go down just seconds apart. It's going to be tight here. It's going to be a tight race. Until they get to the end and they're just going to be like, bring me eight Cs and ah! <laughs> ah, boo! Axe Orb, and nothing. Doesn't matter. Potentially in go mode. Heinz, also Axe Orb, and the Shaft. Two bosses down. Four to go. And our runners are not even 10 seconds apart. <laughs> and the sprite got decked in the face. Something in the bushes right there. And Metal Mantis is at Axe Beak. Hines sprinting. Oh, good sprint. All the way up. All the way through that room. And it's going to just start blasting. Uh, SBC also using the Sprite Girl. Oh, wait. I got to remember this. <laughs> no, the Boy Girls. No, Boy Sprite. Damn. <laughs> boy Sprite and Sprite Girl magic. So the Sprite Girl using Lumina. Go ahead and level that up. Why not? Just to have it. Oh my gosh, they're just so... They're just right next to each other. They're so close. Well, if it isn't a sword orb. And let's see here. Heinz picking up the same thing. Glove orb and sword orb. And it has dropped... A little bit behind, a little bit slower pace now, probably due to, you know, dealing magic damage. Uh-oh! Now's, now's a good time to bail. Oh, he didn't cast wall. 
What? Watermelon didn't cast wall when you first walked in? He just took to the skies. That's so, that's very fortunate. That's very lucky that he didn't immediately cast wall. So one thing to notice, it, and it's one of those things that you have to like recognize it, and, that, and I forget it sometimes. You have to recognize it and immediately act upon it. If you walk into a room and the ground is shaking, that means that it's uh, whatever his name is, Agamemnon, whatever. So you see how Hans' screen is going to be shaking? That is The only boss that does that when you first walk in is the watermelon. And usually when you, as soon as you walk in, they cast um, wall. And it looks like he's about to cast wall. Is he going to get another spell off? Oop! Yeah, just in time. So SBZ uh, engaged it I guess got all up in its grill and it decided to like lift off but Heinz was able to sneak in hopefully this is gonna be enough damage to take it out wall goes off and it explodes okay javelin orb and an axe orb still nothing okay that is four bosses down two to go so both both runners acting very quickly slash on SBZ side a little a little bit lucky <laughs> that Watermelon did not immediately start casting um, Wall when they, like, as soon as they walked in. Okay. And Heinz is checking some. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, got petrified on the way out of that area. Uh oh. That's gonna set him back a little bit. Already lagging behind SBZ. Pulling, just like falling a little bit further, a little bit further behind. Oh man, it's it's a bad day to be a ton pole. Oh my gosh, getting petrified again by, is that the the ninja? Oh, and getting knocked unconscious. This is not good. Oh no, this is not good for Heinz. This is a, a problematic area right there. Need to heal up. We got Undine. Just use use Undine to heal everybody. There it is. Or just that's fine. Oh no, sword orb. And the gold key. <laughs> oh man, Heinz had just had a really, really rough couple of screens right there. Oh my gosh. And the girl is down. So there, there goes physical damage. You still have magic damage. I mean, if you, if you can keep the, the boy alive. The girl goes down. I mean, the sprite goes down. Who is the girl? Ah! <laughs> who, who are people? Ah! <laughs> the lich! <laughs> of course. The lich is at the last slot of the, uh, the death march through... Uh, Pure Lands. Hilarious. And Heinz, <laughs> showing up with two dead characters, breathes a sigh of relief that it's just Han Pole. Ah, oh, not a big deal. But man, those rooms, those, those, those zones were tough. Absolutely punishing. But he made it through. He made it through to the boss, and now he's safe, because killing this boss will revive both the characters. It's gonna be fine. It's all fine. SPZ takes out the Lich. And we're going to find out. Now, if it succeeds, or if the, the Lich gives him the seventh seed, you know, we'll find out. But if it succeeds, that's it. That's game. Gold key is the only thing that I'm going to mark. The other thing was just like an orb. It didn't matter. It wasn't an important piece. Way to go. It's a spear orb and nothing. Okay. So, a little high five here from our runners. Heinz going in to the final boss, fighting the Lich. As the sixth boss in Pure Lands, SPZ on the way out just did that shit. <laughs> That's some old news. And he's about to hit the cutscene, and we're gonna find- we're gonna all find out together. You know, they have six seeds. Both runners have six seeds. Minimum of six seeds, but a random number. Six, seven, or eight. What's it gonna be? And Heinz takes out... their Lich. Ah, the screen's so bright! double white screen at the same time. My eyes. Oh, you did the thing. That's it. All right, six seeds. Oh man, really close. Really close race here. 3903. The time for SBZ Heinz will be following suit in about 40 seconds. Real close. So some interesting little I mean, they they went and did the same stuff in a slightly different order. SPZ decided to sit and grind out some magic at some point, which helped fight some of the bosses. So there was a time burn there, because you're not currently like making checks and stuff like that, but it made some of the boss fights, fights go a lot faster by having you know, higher level magic, higher level damage. Heinz also just like going into Pure Lands, landing, deciding to double back and go shop, and then go back 
to it, was ahead of SBZ at that point, and then circled back, and then was behind SBZ, and just fell further and further behind, because SBZ had better damage, and also just like, the between bosses 4 and 5, uh, Heinz just had a really rough time getting um, petrified, and um, getting um, a character knocked unconscious, and two of the characters died just like a rough couple of zones. With an official time, 39.46, so a 43 second difference. Very close match, very good runs by both of these players. GG's to both of them. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the seed. Um, well done. Hit, hit everything that you needed to, and only a few things that you didn't need to. It's a very, very efficient. <laughs> Just those six seeds found a, a, a well-armed sprite, and they said, this is it, let's go. <laughs> so six seeds was all that was needed. Well, once again, GG's to both runners. Um, I want to thank them for letting me recast this, kind of, uh, in order to bring uh, both of their runs to a new audience in a different light. Uh, check out both of their channels. I've got their uh, socials or whatever you want to call their links to their channels, either YouTube or Twitch or whatever they do, uh, down in the doobly doo below. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you had a good time with this commentary, and I will see you all next time. Bye.